welcome to all. In this week's parasha, we read the incredible set of two psukim, Vahi bin Sova Aaron, the tefillah that Moshe Rabbeinu prayed to Hashem when the Aaron HaKodesh containing the Luchot Abrit would start to travel and the Jewish people would follow in the Midbar, follow in the wilderness. The Gemara tells us in Masechet Shabbat that that series of two psukim is a sefer vifnei atzmo, is a book of the Torah in and of itself, the shortest book we have, two psukim. There's a teaching of the Chida who explains to us that the truth is, he says, we have a tradition, that those that sefer of Ayhi bin Soa Ha'aron, the Aron travel, is really the largest of all of the svarim, the greatest of all the svarim. We today have it in a very, very concise and very short form, but in the future times, with the coming of the Mashiach, it will be revealed to us in its full glory, the entirety of that Sefer. What's the idea behind that? Perhaps the concept is as follows. The Torah itself, the Chamisha Chumashay Torah, the Tanakh at large, is the story of the Jewish people. How Hashem guided us from the beginnings of our history into Eretz Yisrael, through the times of the Beit HaMikdash, through the Churban, through the destruction of the Beit HaMikdash and eventually the rebuilding of the second Beit HaMikdash. And with that, the Tanakh ends. Of course, we realize, though, that Hashem's guiding hand didn't end with the end of the story of the Tanakh. Hashem is guiding us throughout the entirety of history, as, in fact, some jokingly say that the word history should always have a capital H. It's His story. Hashem, He Himself, is always guiding us stage by stage and step by step throughout this Jewish journey of history. The Chazal teach us, the Gemara Masechet Yuma, that when there was an Aron and a Beit HaMikdash, of course, all the nations of the world respected and revered the Jewish people. Of course, a lot of that changed at the time of the Churban, at the time of the destruction of the Beit HaMikdash. But says the Gemara, Hashem is still watching over us all the time, and He exhibits a Midah, an attribute called Nora. Nora, Hashem is awesome, and that awesomeness is something that everyone in the world senses, and the survival of the Jewish people the one sheep, as Chazal say, amongst 70 wolves waiting to destroy us is because Hashem keeps us around no matter where, no matter what. The Arizal teaches us that the word Nora is the same exact letter, just in reverse form as the Aram. There was a Beit HaMikdash, and that's what kept us going. But now Hashem is still there guiding us, although in a very backwards and tricky form throughout all these years. In the times of the Geula, when Hashem redeems us and takes us back to Eretz Yisrael and builds us a Beit HaMikdash once again, we'll be able to see how every stage in our Jewish journey is really a part of that story, of His story, how Hashem has been leading all of us, Am Yisrael, to our destiny and the world to its destiny at large. And as such, it's incredibly important for us during this period of the year we just experienced a Pesach. We went through the days of Svira to Omer. We experienced the Yom Hatzmuah to Yom Yerushalayim. And again, the time of Zman Matan to Retainer, the time of the giving of the Torah. When so many of these important stages in our history, commemorating what took, back, what took place way back when in the times of the Exodus from Mitzrayim, of course, what took place at the times of Matan Torah at Har Sinai, but also remembering that, yes, Hashem is here guiding us in history today. We have the beautiful Kom HaMedina, the state of Israel was established. We have a Yerushalayim unified today back in our hands, but that final stage, the rebuilding of the Beit HaMikdash and the full fulfillment of Hashem's promises to the Jewish nation are still yet to come. Bezrat Hashem, we will merit the seeing and the reading and learning of that entire story of Ahi bin Soha Aron, the Aron to the Nora and back to the Aron HaKodesh, Bezrat Hashem and the Beit HaMikdash, and Yerushalayim Yer Kodesh, as she be built, Bimheira Biameinu. Kaltuv and Shalom to all.